Hi Aquarius, this is going to be your reading from May the 1st to the 15th. I hope everyone is having a nice day so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon or rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just a reminder, these are general reads, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, so how I do my readings, if this is your first time here, I start with the angel oracle guide, I move on to traditional tarot, and then back to oracle at the end. So your message this week is ease and grace. Your message. This is a time to learn and adapt. You're being guided to slow down, take your time, and take in the current moment. Allow space for events to occur. You often put too much pressure and expectation on yourself, and this is not required. Also, with constant effort and rush, you'll find yourself becoming more overwhelmed and tired. When you're too forceful, you use up too much energy, and that may hinder your progress at this time. If you're in a difficult situation at work or with other people, do not feel like you have to prove your skills, talents, or worth. Just step back and breathe, and through grace, you'll be seen, understood, and recognized to who you truly are. You're being guided to flow like water. Don't flow, uh, feel the need to rush or force your way ahead. A gentle approach will be more rewarding. Have patience. Move with stability and grace. Your angel guide is encouraging you to see life as a dance. One step at a time, you will make your way through this incredible journey. Learn more at learning more and growing along the way. How can you move with more elegance? How can you slow down? How can you bring more grace and poise to your current situation? This is a time to soften, breathe, move in a way that is steady but flowing. This information may come to a surprise or even a challenge to you. But your angels know that it will be beneficial for what is coming your way next. All right. Honestly, I feel this energy with you as well, Aquarius. I'm getting over a sickness this week. Um, and I was just like, I'm just giving my body time. I'm still getting these readings out, though, for you. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this could pertain to. feel this energy. For Aquarius, please. I don't know why I felt I, I see like you, you I see you behind bars, but it, it, it's almost just like you're like behind bars and you're trying to like shake or trying to get out in a way where it's just like kind of rattling the bars. I'm I'm trying to figure out what that kind of imagery is for. Needing something on the other side. It's like it's like I I need that I need that over there, but I'm like feel like I'm barred or stuck. I don't know if that's energy that you are kind of feeling right now if you're feeling in a place where you're like that something that I need is out there and and uh, I, I need to get out there but I feel caged or trapped in a way We have the Seven of Swords coming on your main energy, which is interesting because Libra got this energy in reversed here. So the Seven of Swords is maybe um, cheating energy, stealing energy, taking energy. And what I'm kind of feeling from this is you're feeling like things are maybe being taken away from you in a way. And I don't know if this is kind of opportunity or things that you thought kind of were yours or things that kind of didn't work out here. But a lot of this energy at the top is about kind of trying to over control things um, and kind 
kind of not seeing maybe the other things that are coming in here. It's like being fixated on maybe what was taken from us um, that's not ours anymore, um, what has been removed from us. And I feel like this is more than just like someone like stealing something. I feel like something like maybe energy even you feel like is stolen in a way or taken from you. Um, maybe again, it's a specific opportunity. Maybe it's something physical here. Maybe it involves with cheating, but it feels like you're cheated out of something or um, cheated on something here uh, in a way, Aquarius. It feels like more like you're being cheated of something. We have the four of cups here in the reverse, and the four of cups in the reverse is about energy of not seeing, um, is, is about seeing what the universe kind of has um, being brought to you here, as seeing what's being brought forward. It's like you're kind of now trying to focus on other things, focus on signs, focus on symbols, focus on what the universe can bring in for you. Um, we have the emperor in reverse, which is this kind of over controlling energy, which is this like um, CEO, you know, this is kind of like bad boss energy. This is someone who uh, maybe has anger issues, someone who is, um, you, you know, again, like I said before, a little bit over controlling. Um, you know, it, it likes to be the boss of things, but in a negative way. And there's almost like this error in judgment in it here as well. So I feel like a lot of this has to do with feeling like you're being cheated out of something here or feeling like, um, you know, you there's something about over controlling your energy or trying to over control an outcome of something is this energy I keep kind of feeling with you. With the judgment card in reverse, it's saying that there's an error in judgment here, um, error in judgment in something. And something with the Ten of Cups is talking about an unhappy family situation. So maybe some of you are having an error in judgment about a family situation. Um, maybe this is about your home life. Maybe about, this is about your kids um, here as well. But they're asking you to kind of be a little bit more strategic with things with this King of Swords, have kind of some conversations, you know, be clear headed. This could represent you, Aquarius. Um, if feels like you in this energy this week they really want you to be logical they really want you to be level-headed they really want you to be in your kind of communicative skills um, at this time maybe some of you are dealing with family matters that involve that involve um, maybe someone taking something from you or you felt stealing from you um, in a way I have this Ten of Wands here, and I have this Six of Cups popping out here as well. So Six of Cups is about the past coming back for us here. Um, something related, this could be sound from the past coming back. But with this Ten of Wands, I just feel like you're carrying a lot right now. There's a lot that you are carrying with you, and maybe some of this has to do with energy from the past that you felt in the past, but I feel like it's a lot. I just feel this kind of heavy burden it's like you know i have to do a b and c i have to be you know i have to be here i have to be here i have to be here i have all this kind of stuff to do and it's telling you with this energy to keep pushing keep doing kind of what you're doing here but i think it's about finding this better way with this ease and grace because it feels like you're trying to kind of control every single outcome here instead of just being like i'm going to let things be the way that they are here you know i'm going to focus on my energy on this one thing when i feel right for it and then i'll focus my energy on another it just feels feels like you're trying to take on too much um, at this time and it's causing you to just kind of, you know, it might be causing trouble in the family situation, it might be also causing trouble in your life here as well. We do have the Magician card in the reversed, um, which is kind of energy of being like we don't have all the th um, tools yet to manifest the things that we want um, here. You know, we're not in that energy of manifestation, in that energy of creation. And I feel like because of this uh, Eight of Cups and Reverse, which is kind of talking about vices, which is kind of talking about, um, you know, when we're not feeling emotionally fulfilled, what we do here. Um, I feel like you're just not letting, you know, enough, enough of your energy be still, you know, enough of your energy to be in this energy of creation, to be in this energy of just letting things kind of come to you here because it's like you're carrying so much. 
So I don't know if it's like you kind of deciding, okay, what I, what am I going to carry forward? What am I going to focus my energy on here? But I feel like maybe the universe is trying to tell you something or push you kind of um, in a different direction because I feel like you're just trying to put your hands in almost too many pots right now. Um, so how can you do it with more ease? You know, how can you do it with more trust? Trust in yourself too, Aquarius, to trust that you know, to, to, to trust that you, you know what you're doing or know what you are feeling here because I feel like, you, again, you, you're grasping at a lot of straws right now. Four of Swords is here in the reverse. And the Four of Swords in the reverse, for me, is usually coming back from a time from healing or something or taking kind of a time out. I feel like this needs, you need rest. I feel like you need to kind of heal from something here, even if it's just exhaustion, even if it's just kind of overworking. I think you need some time to relax. I need you, you need to take some time out if you can, maybe take some vacation days or just take a day to just kind of do nothing to regain your energy here. Um, because it's just feeling like a lot of defeat from this. I don't know, maybe if you're even coming back from a sickness, uh, coming back from a time where you were healing from something and you feel like so defeated by it because you're just like that took so much out of me um, here but again I think you just need to give yourself that energy right now um, because it seems like with this five of swords as well you're just kind of feeling defeated your energy is low you know there is this exhaustion maybe you've been also battling against someone here with these kind of the swords energy can I get more on that Yeah, we have the Page of Wands reversed, we have the King of Wands reversed, we have the Seven of um, Pentacles in reverse here as well. Page of Wands is kind of like uh, energy of uh, losing the enthusiasm for life, the adventure for life, the excitement for life. You know, it's like we're not really having that at this current moment. The King of Wands in reverse as well it might be feeling like your talents might be not utilized. Maybe you're not just like feeling that drive. You're not really feeling that passion, that creativity right now. In um, the Seven of pentacles in the reverse is kind of saying hey we're not giving ourselves that moment of pause we're not giving ourselves just saw 12 12 on the board as well so um, maybe you are seeing 12 12 a lot which could uh, signify an ending of something something's ending something's changing um but we have the seven of pentacles in the reverse here as well which is just saying we're not taking the time to sit back and appreciate um the work that we've done and how far we've come and it feels like a lot of this is kind of burnout here uh, aquarius i'm not gonna lie so it's like, how can we do this? How can we still achieve what we want but on the easier path? I feel like we've almost been lied to in society where it's like this hustle culture, you know? It's like, we have to hustle. We have to um, do things constantly to be seen, um, you know, to uh, get what we want in this life. You know, wake up at 6 a.m., go to sleep at 2 a.m. and wake up and hustle again. People say that works for them, but I'm not sure. I think this idea of reconnecting with this kind of ease, with letting energy come to us as well, um, and doing that through our own energy, through our own vibration, being like, you know what, I'm going to put up some boundaries here. I'm going to kind of value myself and bring energy towards me that way. And that's what it kind of feels like with this cage is it's just like it feels like something is out of grasp it feels like again that that cage is kind of over you here and you're trying to shake to get past it and you can't kind of reach it and it almost feels like ugh, it's like this energy of someone's just going to come in and kind of you know bring the energy to you you know have that kind of whatever it is that's outside of your limit bring the solution to you here and how we do that is through kind of this own energy through our self-love through our own self-value you deserve things to happen for you and deserve things to be easy, you know, to come with ease to you as well. It doesn't mean that life is always going to be easy, but it's finding a way to do that. Finding a way to be kind of at ease with maybe where we're at at life, um, you know, with the opportunities that are for us, with the opportunities that are not for us. Because it feels like you're expelling kind of so much energy, um, maybe things that aren't for us or care or... Um, holding on to a lot of things here uh you know filling up that backpack with things that we don't need on this journey the 
the devil coming out sideways. Energy coming out sideways in my readings, it means it can go either way. This is um, toxic patterns, this could be toxic people, toxic relationships, um, anything that's kind of in that low vibrational energy, which means if it's coming out sideways like this, it can go either way. It can be upright, you know, where we're feeling chained down. And this is, again, this is what I'm talking about, this cage, this caged idea. There's no kind of solutions for us. You know, we're feeling down in the dumps or we're kind of releasing all those things that are holding us back, all those kind of this negative thought patterns, these things that aren't working for us anymore. You know, this idea um, that we don't have enough, this idea that we need more and more and more. Yeah. I don't doubt that things will work out to you. Just this card, Libra and energy coming out here. You know, things will be just for you. Things will be um, given to you fairly here. Especially if you, if there is something that you are working on here. If you feel like with the Seven of Swords, something is unfair at this moment. Um, that kind of karma will come back to you in a good way. So just trust that here, Aquarius. But it's just like, you know, you're responsible for your own energy here as well. It's like... It's like, what can I do to kind of be at a place that's more peaceful? All right. So your Starseed Oracle this week was Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Planet Earth is a great initiator for the soul, and the life lessons are the curriculum uh, for which we enroll. These aren't one-time lessons, but themes we choose to circle around, deepening our experience of them as we make our way through the spiral of life. Life lessons aren't only about getting it right, they're also about getting it wrong. Remembering that Earth is a planet of polarity helps with this understanding. Each year, the study deepens more and more. If you pull this card, you'll be going through a difficult time. You're being prompted to remember that your soul came here to learn and grow. Try not to look at difficult times as getting it wrong. Instead, see them as opportunities for soul growth. If you can find a way to grow and soften your heart through the highs and lows, your soul is most definitely growing, which is the whole point. Pulling this card could also mean that you're being called to embark on a new area of study or growth. This could be through structured learning such as university, school, uh, or training courses. If you're having difficulties in a relationship, you're being reminded that these are opportunities for soul growth. After all, relationships no are known as the number one way we grow as souls while we're here on Earth. How are you being called to grow and learn? We also got Angel of Strength. And I feel like it's maybe a part of this kind of Ten of Cups as well, this kind of unhappy uh, family card, this kind of relationships within our family dynamic. Personal power, inner strength. This amazing angel brings the news that this is time of increasing power for you. It's not time to be passive or submissive, but to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. This is what we we're talking about before. Like you're in the control of your own energy here of being like, you know, what am I not carrying with me anymore? What am I not carrying on my shoulders? You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny for the power comes with within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength is, and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and bring your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and the resolve to do what's necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. Deep within me is an abiding strength that knows no bounds. I have all the power I need to achieve all that I want. All right, Aquarius, this was your first month reading. I hope that helped.